first tonight, we're taking a look at some new video from the scene of a police shooting in Muskegon. Investigators say officers were forced to open fire on a suspect, killing him and leaving this neighborhood rattled. News 8's Adriana Doria joining us in studio with the details of what led up to the shooting. Adriana. Brian, neighbors had a terrifying wake-up call this morning after shots were fired just right in their backyard. I spoke with one of those neighbors who saw the whole thing unfold and says it all happened in the blink of an eye. And all of a sudden, it happened so fast. A tense morning for so many neighbors. Gunshots right outside their window. That was scary. It was. I mean, I... You don't see that every day, you know, it, it was bad. It happened too quick. I mean, all it takes is a blink of an eye. This video showing the scene unfold as Muskegon police say just after 4 a.m. Wednesday morning, officers got to Howden Street and East Holbrook Avenue for a reported disturbance call. And when they got there, police say a 20 year old man was armed with a knife and acting erratically. After multiple attempts to de escalate the situation, police say the man allegedly ran to a nearby home and attacked a woman with his knife. After that, it was a matter of seconds. I don't know what he did because it was dark. Either he raised his arm or something, but there were several, several shots fired. Police say they then opened fire at the suspect, and that man died at the scene from his injuries. They say the woman who was attacked in this incident was taken to the hospital and is expected to survive. Police tell us the officers involved have been placed on administrative leave, and Michigan State Police have been asked to step in and investigate. Live in the studio, Adriana Doria, News 8.